So it might sound kind of wild and strange to say that I brainwashed myself to manifest marriage, but the honest truth is, in essence, that's what I did. That's what manifesting is. It's using our creative minds to dream up a new version of ourselves. And then we're practicing thinking like that person, acting like that person, stepping into being that person so that we can create the exact matching result. If you are someone who is serious about manifesting your all-in relationship, the greatest love of your life, and you really want marriage or commitment, then this video is definitely for you. I'm going to teach you some of my best tips to brainwash yourself so you can really start to believe that this marriage is going to happen for you. Before I jump in, I want you to know that I have a beautiful and special free masterclass for you that will teach you the exact steps you can use to go from being single to engaged to married in less than a year. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you what that is. Also know that I have a free ebook for you called How to Manifest the Greatest Relationship of Your Life. If you want a copy of that ebook, just comment love below and I will get you one ASAP. Okay, let's jump in. Step number one is recognizing your old story. So for myself, when I was manifesting marriage, I had to get real with myself and recognize that I was still telling a story that I might not manifest marriage. And I think a lot of us are doing this. If you find that you have doubts that you can manifest the greatest love of your life, or you find that you sometimes are scared that it's not gonna happen, it probably is because an old story about love is happening inside of you. That was the case for me. When I set out to manifest my husband, I was already in my 40s. I truly was scared that I had missed my chance at love. And so that story was kind of going on inside of me. I wasn't even fully aware that I was telling myself that, but it was there. And once I recognized that, I realized I need to start telling a new story if I want that new story to come true. The way I started telling the new story was I simply started affirming the opposite. Opposite. I would affirm things like, Shelly, you are meant for great love in this lifetime. Even if I didn't fully believe it, I was telling myself that. I would tell myself, if you want to manifest marriage, you can have that. If you want to have a baby, you can have that. I just started telling myself that I could have the story that I wanted. You may not believe the story at first, but it's important to get started telling yourself the story of having your desire. The more you tell yourself that story, the more natural it will become. And it's really important to call this marriage, this amazing relationship to you. The second way to brainwash yourself into manifesting marriage is to start saying feeling-based affirmations. So what is a feeling-based affirmation? It is an affirmation that evokes a feeling of having your desire. So to manifest marriage, you want to be evoking the feeling that you really already are married. That is going to be the powerful component of the affirmation that brings the desire to you. A lot of people are saying affirmations in a robotic way, and that's okay if that's your jam, if that's what you like to do. It's not the way I teach affirmations. And that's because I really live by the Neville Goddard sentiment of feeling is the secret. And so when I'm doing affirmations, I want it to make me feel a particular way. The way I want it to make me feel is a celebration of having my desire. So let me show you these two affirmations to give you an idea of how to do feeling-based affirmations affirmations more and more. You can say, I'm married. That could be an affirmation. And technically, I'm married is the wish fulfilled. So you can repeat that to yourself, but it's not evoking very much, right? Now you can also say, I love being married to my amazing husband. That also is claiming the wish fulfilled, but it's a juicier affirmation. It's more evocative. It helps you feel like, ooh, this is exciting. You maybe feel giddy. It really helps you get into that inner state of the wish fulfilled. So definitely start doing feeling-based affirmations as much as possible. The easiest way to do this is just start your affirmations with I love. I love being married, I love being a wife, I love being in this relationship. That's a very simple way to start to create more feelings in your affirmations, which again is putting you in the wish fulfilled and bringing this result into your life. 
third step is to create an imaginary relationship within. So anyone who is not in the manifesting community and has stumbled upon this video might think I am nuts to create an imaginary relationship with someone within. But again, that's what manifesting is kind of all about. You are dreaming up being a new version of yourself. And by dreaming up that new version of yourself, we all know as manifestors, we are creating a matching result in our 3D reality. The result matches who you're being within. So when I was manifesting my husband, you better believe I created an imaginary relationship with him before he came into my life. What does this even mean? It essentially means I knew a lot of details about who he was, about what our relationship was like, about what we are creating together. I did this through scripting, through inner conversations, through imaginal acts. Essentially, I thought up all the different details about who he was and who we were together, and I entered into this imaginal relationship with him, essentially just feeling like I already knew who he was, even though he hadn't come into my life yet. Things you can ask yourself are, who is my person? What do they feel like when I'm with them? What is important to them? What do they wanna create with me in the future? Another thing that I would do to create this imaginary relationship is I would write love letters to my husband again before he came into my life. All of this is just setting you up to impress your subconscious mind with, I am married. This is already who I am. And when you start to feel that way, you have no choice but to call a matching result into your life. The fourth step you want to do is act like a married person now. So again, the outside world might think this is crazy, but here's the truth. You are practicing this new self-concept and you're actually only doing it inside your inner world. You're not going out there and telling people you're married. You're not lying to people and telling them you're, you're in a relationship. You are just playing pretend with yourself to get into the role, you might say, of feeling like you're already married. So I've talked about this before in other videos, but one of the ways I would do this is I would go to the grocery store and I would pretend like I was shopping for my husband and I. This did not mean that I would buy more groceries for him, this imaginary husband. What it meant was I just would pretend I'm a wife right now and I'm shopping for myself and my husband. I would also pretend that other people looked at me and they could tell I was married. It really was just a little game I was playing with myself. This is a powerful, powerful technique called acting as if. It is one of the main ways I brainwashed myself to manifest my husband. I highly suggest you do it. It's really powerful, it feels incredible, and it will prepare you to really believe that you are going to manifest this marriage very, very soon. So these are the four tips I have for you to brainwash yourself to manifest marriage into your life. Let me know in the comments below, which one are you gonna start doing ASAP? Also, I wanted to let you know about my free masterclass that I have for you. It is called single to engaged to married in less than a year. If you sign up for my free ebook by typing love in the comments below, you're gonna receive my free ebook and you're gonna be invited into this free 90 minute training. It's great for you if you are really, really ready to manifest marriage into your life. So enjoy and I hope you love it. Finally, if you want to learn the exact technique that helped me manifest marriage with my husband twice as fast, definitely watch this video right here. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love being here with you. I'll see you soon. Bye.